everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And I got a really great question from Jim Adams on Facebook, and I thought I would address it here in a video. So Jim says, are, are angels the same as spirit guides? Excellent question. If so, are they always present in our lives and we just don't access them much in the midst of adversity? Now that's also an excellent question because yes, they are always there. And yes, adversity, stress, low frequency can make it very difficult for us to perceive them, all right? Now, are they the same as spirit guides? They are not. Although we can, I mean, they are our guides and I guess they're spiritual, but <laughs> the way we mean it when we're talking about spirit guides, spirit guides don't have to be wholly this, but usually they are upper fourth level going into the fifth dimensional beings, okay? And the reason why we have these spirit guides is that they're a little bit closer to us in frequency. So again, ascended humans helping out us, <laughs> right? So they are ones that maybe they're probably a part of your soul family. Um, maybe they've had, you know, plenty of time to get to that spirit guide level. Um, and I even historically when I have tuned into this question, it's again, this is a human way of putting it, but like they kind of go to like spirit guide school. That's not really how it is, I'm sure, but that's that's how my human brain can interpret that and try to put it out there. So they go through all of their experiences. They have the tools and they've ascended to a level where they can watch over another soul incarnated in a density consciousness body. Now your spirit guides don't have to just be fourth dimensional beings. Uh, people have their loved ones on the other side who might watch over them. But as I've always said, be careful taking advice off of Aunt Betty Boo Boo, okay? I've talked about her. Aunt Betty Boo Boo, she'll give you the recipe for the blueberry pie. But otherwise, you're gonna get the same advice from her that you got when she was alive, okay? Because she's not, she's not your spirit guide. She can hang out with you, but she's not your spirit guide, all right? Now, guardian angels are thought, again, this is not like a rule, right? But they're thought to be more fifth dimensional beings that resonate on the same level as your higher self or what we perceive as our higher self. Now you have guides, you have light beings that are ninth, 12th dimensions, you know, what have you, all helping you out. But when we talk about the typical rhetoric around guardian angels, they are very different beings, all right? Now, everyone has their opinion on this. And remember, every spiritual practitioner is just giving you their perspective. For your consideration okay now that's not so that you can argue and make up your own rules and make up your own story but again everything this is just how i'm taking this okay now my understanding is that these guardian angels have not had a human existence and i'm even hearing now most angels and archangels have not had a human experience because they're not built for it but there have been human souls we know uh enoch and elijah became metatron and sandalfin that was a different scenario, okay? But for the most part, no, your loved ones do not cross over and become angels, okay? No, they're very different beings. You can call them your angel, like my grandma's my angel. You know, you could say that, but they're not really angels. So, very different spirit guides and angels, although they're still looking out for you, very different frequencies. Again, the spirit guides are here to kind of, you know, they have been human, so they remember what it is to do that, <laughs> to go through a lifetime. They have uh, a way of communicating to you that you can take the message in, all right? Whereas angels, if they come in, like, I've done this in readings, personal readings, where, you know, there'll be some message coming through and I, you could just tell like the person didn't get it whatsoever. They, they didn't land. So now that's why we get into this whole thing of repeating numbers, uh, getting signs and symbols, angel signs, you know, all of that, the feathers, the pennies, um, synchronicities, you know, all of that. But that you know, synchronicities that could have something to do with your angels are kind of making a synchronicity for you to get your attention for you to notice, but your energy and being in alignment that can also create synchronicities. Now, since we're on this topic, let's go into how do I know if I'm talking to my spirit guide, my angel, or if it's something else. Spirit guides and angels are not going to tell you to go do something bad. You know, like that's a, that's a different type of being or, you know, telling you that you're bad or anything like that. They're not going to do that. 
they're beings of love. So they're not, especially angels, they're not going to tell you that there's something wrong with you. Um, I've had people say, well, you know, I tune in to my angels every day and they tell me where I'm messing up in life. Maybe that's the way the person is just putting it. But if they're really tuning into some beings that are telling them bad things about themselves, that's not an angel. That's not a spirit guide. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> okay. And, you know, you can always pay attention. Excuse me, light. The best way to tell is by how you feel. If you're in a low frequency space, that's where it's kind of spine tingling. It's a little bit, not in a good way. Uh, it's kind of buzzy. It's kind of oof, like like something's under pressure and if I just have one negative thought it's gonna burst out and spill all over the place right so that is one thing and that's not that's not what we're working towards when your angels come in you feel like you're coming home and for some of you if home has a negative connotation for you it's the sense of uh coming into peace coming into absolute love calm just calm and sweet like someone who is the most loving, loving creature just came up and gave you a hug. If you're in a space where you're not really into people these days, but you love your dog, it's the same kind of feeling. Like when you feel down and your dog comes up and, and nuzzles you and, and gives you kisses or whatever, right? It's really like that times like a hundred, right? It's very calm, very centered, clarity. You know, that's the feeling of your angel coming around. Now, spirit guides, again, they're closer in frequency to you. So it's a little bit different. They're still going to come forward with a lot of love, but um, you might feel more like, like a best friend just showed up, like a very supportive, loving best friend. So bear that in mind. Keep the frequency high. Again, if you are getting messages that are not nice or... Um, you know, I, I hear this too, where people are like, I got a message from my guide saying that that person was evil. Oh, it's a magpie. Hi, baby. <laughs> it's a giant magpie that just like landed right there looking in the window. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> we're just going to carry on what we're saying. Anyway, so I was saying, like I've heard people say, well, I tuned into my spirit guides about that person. They said they're not to be trusted. Now your spirit guides might say that. They might say, give you a warning and say, watch out for those people or watch out for the situation or what have you. But they're not typically, like they're not drama queens. Okay, and it's fascinating to me to hear people who consider themselves tuned in and spiritual make it sound like they're angels and guides are participating in the soap opera. They don't do that, okay? They just don't. So they're not gonna sit there and give you the dish on someone. They're not, especially angels, they don't interfere with human free will. So it's only if that person's soul is willing to let you see some part of them that they could pick up on it, okay? Well, they pick up on it, but to tell you. So bear that in mind, if you are just trying to get in touch with your angels and spirit guides to get the dirt on someone, it will come back on you. Don't do that. And if you haven't learned your lesson, you will. <laughs> so I hope that answered your question. Again, let me know down below if we get enough of the same questions. I will make another video. Thanks for watching.